I have never met a man so ignorant that I couldn't learn something from him. The laws of nature are written by the hand of God in the language of mathematics. To understand the universe, you must understand the language in which it's written, the language of mathematics. You can't teach anybody anything, only make them realize their answers are already inside them. Knowing thyself, that is the greatest wisdom. Nothing occurs contrary to nature except the impossible, and that never occurs. The prohibition of science would be contrary to the Bible, which in hundreds of places teaches us how the greatness and the glory of God shine forth marvelously in all his works and is to be read above all in the open book of the heavens. If you could see the earth illuminated when you were in a place as dark as night, it would look to you more splendid than the moon. You may force me to say what you wish you may revile me for saying what I do, but it moves. I do not feel obliged to believe that the same God who has endowed us with sense, reason and intellect has intended us to forego their use. Nature is relentless and unchangeable and it is indifferent as to whether its hidden reasons and actions are understandable to man or not. Two truths cannot contradict one another. I do not think it is necessary to believe that the same God who has given us our senses, reason and intelligence wished us to abandon their use, giving us by some other means the information that we could gain through them. You cannot teach a man anything. You can only help him find it within himself. Philosophy is written in that great book which ever lies before our eyes. I mean, the universe. But we cannot understand it if we do not first learn the language and grasp the symbols in which it is written. God is known by nature, in his works, and by doctrine, in his revealed word. Mathematics is the key, and door to the sciences. In questions of science, the authority of a thousand is not worth the humble reasoning of a single individual. Scripture is a book about going to heaven. It's not a book about how the heavens go.